In the Ukrainian market, this Chinese SUV was in good demand due to its affordable cost, and it differed from other Chinese compatriots in good workmanship. And what about reliability? It is no secret that almost all Chinese cars at one time copied popular models from the world's leading manufacturers. The Great Wall Hover also has a clone, the Isuzu Axiom SUV, which until 2004 was produced at the Subaru Isuzu joint venture in the US state of Indiana and therefore is little known in Europe. The car, even in the Chinese interpretation, looks quite fresh and original, specialists from the Celestial Empire retouched it a little, changing the shape of the front of the body. At the same time, the all-wheel drive transmission was also simplified, on the frame hover, the front wheels are connected only on off-road. The Isuzu Axiom prototype boasted a more complex circuit, with a viscous coupling in the center differential. In addition, in addition to all-wheel drive versions, there were cars only with a rear drive axle. Chinese doubles could also be purchased in a single drive version, but after 2013, Great Wall Hover in Ukraine began to be sold only with a 4x4 transmission. Moreover, there were a lot of people who wanted to buy this Chinese SUV among domestic motorists. A serious rogue of a frame structure with a reduction gear in a transfer case cost a little more than $20,000. Almost like all Chinese cars of that time, there were certain reliability problems, but this did not stop anyone. Another circumstance spoke in favor of choosing the Great Wall Hover. Despite the fact that cars from the Middle Kingdom in general often break down, many hover owners do not complain about reliability. The only question is whether you will get a good copy. And this is a lottery, and voluntary. To play or not to play, the choice is yours. There is a chance. The hover was originally equipped with a 2.4-liter gasoline engine, 130 horsepower, manufactured under license from Mitsubishi. Then came the 2.8-liter turbo diesel, 95 horsepower, produced under license from Isuzu. Only a 5-speed manual transmission was combined with both engines. Great Wall Hover is a frame SUV with a reduction gear, a transfer case, a rigidly connected front axle and a large interior. From 2007 to 2008, it was assembled at a plant in Kramachuk, then a SKD assembly was established in Cherkasy for a short time. At first, the only hover was sold, and since 2010, in the process of modernization, the model was divided, and two versions of the car appeared on sale at once, Haval H3 and Haval H5, which differ in the design of the front end and interiors, as well as a line of engines. Another trump card of Chinese cars is decent equipment. So, for example, the basic version of Hover included power steering, ABS with EBD electronic brake force distribution, climate control, power windows and mirrors, as well as a 6-disc CD changer. The luxury equipment differs from the initial one by electric adjustment of the driver's seat, an electric sunroof and a spoiler on the rear door, and the Haval H3 and H5 are equipped almost the same. The gasoline engine traces its lineage back to old Mitsubishi models, but it is extremely demanding on fuel quality. Therefore, every 30,000 kilometers it is advisable to flush the injection nozzles and throttle valve. The mass airflow sensor is also at risk. If the engine jerks at idle and even stalls, and also consumes too much fuel, you will have to fork out for a new part. It is necessary to carefully monitor the operation of the engine. Interruptions in ignition can disable not only candles, ignition coils and high voltage wires, but also a converter. Periodically you will have to change the radiator, which does not withstand more than 3 or 4 years. A diesel engine is reliable if it runs on good diesel fuel. Usually you have to spend money on glow plugs and injection nozzles. In the transmission, theoretically, everything can break, from the outboard bearing and cart and cross to the transfer case, axle and front gearbox. But she may not require attention at all, as lucky. With suspension, the story is similar. Driving style and operating conditions do not affect the durability of parts. The only consolation is that the cost of spare parts is low. The 2.4-liter engine is considered the most trouble-free element of this SUV. It is designed for the 90-second gasoline, but demanding on its quality. Frankly, he has practically no weak points. The 2.8-liter's diesel is also reliable, but lacks power for a heavy vehicle. In a manual gearbox, the shift lever linkage wears out pretty quickly. Outboard bearing short-lived. The oil in the axles, gearbox and Rosditka is changed every 60,000 km. The front suspension is independent, on longitudinal torsion bars. Unpredictably, maybe after 10,000 km, or maybe after 80,000 km, wheel bearings fail. Shock absorbers last up to 60,000 km. In steering, you often have to change the ends of the rods. In the rear dependent suspension there is a bridge with a panhart rod which usually does not require attention up to 120,000 kilometers of run. 
However, hub bearings and shock absorbers may fail earlier than this period. The body is poorly protected from corrosion. Due to the flimsy paintwork, chips are quickly formed, which then rust. There are also problems with the electrics, the dipped beam and interior lights often burn out, the battery is discharged, and the wiring closes from careless assembly. 